I invite you to suffer through today's movie. It's called Merlin's Shop of Mystical Wonders, and it's a delightful Bambi romp through a flowery fairyland of happy, harmless, fruit-fruit family fun for the whole family of all ages. Or is it? Taste the rainbow of fruit pain. <laughs> Merlin's hop? Yeah, Merlin's. Try the Merlin chop. A half a pound of Merlin served with steak fries, vegetable of the day, and whipped dessert. Mm, the mystical wonder is that he's in a movie. Well, what should I do now, Thomas? Go on. Tell me. So this is how Madeline Albright makes decisions. <laughs> Tonight on Old Lady Gets Killed. <laughs> there. So that's how you got rid of Grandma, huh? Oh, no? Well, <laughs> you know, actually, that toy monkey reminds me of a story I once wrote for television. Uh -huh. Let's see, what was it? Yeah, save it for Carson, Grandpa. Of course. Merlin. Merlin? Merlin the Sorcerer. Only it didn't take place in the time of King Arthur. You see, Merlin used his powers to come to our time to set up a shop of mystical wonders for all to see. And then I shave my eyebrows. Something. Well, look who we have here. Yeah. Our first customer. <laughs> well, we have a visitor. I'm scared. Has Me too. Found something you love? The thing is, we haven't been getting along that well for some time now. And Lifetime well, Network? I know he resents me for not being able to get pregnant on our own. Whoa, too much information. Get him. I haven't had the nerve. I just... Plus the polyps in my cold. Look, I gotta go. Man, I love Glendale. My sperm is top-notch. It's her. Hello, Susan. I bet you can have a baby. <laughs> what can we do for our young friend? Show me the exit. Come here, Nicholas. No, Please. you would? No! It's one of my... <laughs> yeah, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bob Jackass. My... I'm here mm -hmm. to awaken the world. Huh? Awaken the world? From what? <laughs> He's hot. To bring magic back into the lives of those who have let science and technology cloud their perception. Electric skillets must go. Perceptions of the power which truly cover the universe. We also make keys to believe whatever crap I shovel out. Oh, there was a time when wizards commanded their respective king. That was a sweet gig. And all I've never seen anything like it. It's a laurel. A bassarino. A very special stone. Oh. A wishing stone. Come on, for Pete's sakes, Madeline, don't encourage them. It's nothing more than a rock. Like your womb. Billy, by this time, a kid had thrown a chicken while an infertile couple had looked at a store. I have my own private fertility clinic in back, baby. For God's sakes, Jonathan, just drop it. Leave these kind people alone. Otherwise, I won't continue to not have your children. <laughs> Dear, why don't you give him the book? The book? Yes, dear. It's a pie from Baker Square. Looks like an old book. Do, 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 do. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, and Mr. Cooper. You're welcome. A few words of <laughs> caution. If you decide to dabble with any of my spells, for whatever reason, you're welcome. <laughs> you insulting my sperm count? Now we can return that arc welder. Oh, what am I saying? Clearly, Merlin has brought good into the world. Yes. Those Altoids are curiously strong. What are you doing? Are you trying to burn the house down? I utterly loathe you. You want to have a baby? The homing spell. Upon proper orchestration of this incantation, an object may be sent away to later return. Like a homing pigeon. Or a domesticated lobster. <laughs> 
Hard be for me to go against the master's wishes. I talk to myself a lot. Long monologues, complete with sarcasm. Great. Well, I love you. But not you, Debbie. You can't give me a child. True, Corby. He turned into the Grinch. <laughs> Immediately feed creature three drops. What's he gonna do to the cat? He's gonna turn it into a familiar. <laughs> it's an obedient, mystical servant. You know, a devil. Cool. Mine lives in my sweater vest. Oh, by the way, there is one very important thing to point out. Mm -hmm. Because of all the magic that Jonathan's been doing, uh -huh. he's aged about 15 years. How come? Well, using one's psychic powers to do magic drains your life force and causes you to age. Every kid knows that. Come. Where was I? Did I talk about my prostate? The cat. Oh, yes, the cat, the cat. Well, without a moment to lose, Jonathan apprehends the unsuspecting feline and brings her to his workbench, where he tortures it and kills it. Good night. Oh, there you are. And the devil cat grabbed his throat and pulled out bloody strips of sinew and flesh. Grandpa Borg 9! <laughs> then the cat's flesh was roasted. Grandpa, no! Sit down, you're gonna listen. His flesh melted and his horrible screams. No. <laughs> that damned cat. Cat was made of oily rags. <laughs> Honey, you okay down there? I got old and roasted the cat alive with my breath, but I'm fine. Now I'll have to wear a ponytail and get a Porsche and a younger wife. That bastard, he turned me into Benjamin Franklin. Riff Raff at home. What have you done? It's true. He is who he says he is. He is Merlin the Sorcerer. Oh, big mosquito. <laughs> Came, I saw I made cheese dip. <laughs> Here's looking at you, sweetheart. Oh, no, this is a good enough film. They shouldn't have to steal from other movies. <laughs> There's a mouse underneath my Baldwin. Oh, good. Now she has to raise her horrible husband. That's what most wives think they do anyway. Great, a sarcastic baby. Now the kid's gonna write continual bad reviews about his mother's lousy care. So now he's his own father? <laughs> Based on a story by Sigmund Freud. My shotgun traps didn't go off, what the hell? Hey, this looks like the most expensive thing in here. Guy with a toy monkey on the run. Guy with a toy monkey on the run. Gotta get to my stuffed monkey fence fast. You've got to get out there and find that thing before it gets into the wrong hands. But where do I start? It could be anywhere. I don't care. Just get out there and be creative. Now go. Hit the pavement, you Celtic fairy. Don't I get a kiss? You get a lot more than that if you don't get out there and find that thing. Now go. So she threatened him with sex? <laughs> Wow, a smelly used toy. Every time a bell rings, a devil gets his horn. What's in there? What's in there? It's a bread maker, thanks! Oh, <laughs> no yeah. Yeah. Go. Hmm. No 70s house, may I help you? No, don't be silly, mother. Look, don't you dare take a cab. I'm perfectly able to pick you up. What are you, like 50 pounds now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I look forward to seeing you too. D okay. G goodbye. I will. G All right, see you in a few G days. G goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, now Mr. Wilson's doing nude yard work again. Oh, please. Since when has a man ever noticed a plant in a house? He putted around the kitchen for a while and got himself a cold drink. Uh, by chance, <laughs> have you seen it? Um. That's it. Look at the monkey. Ash. Blast it. Now I gotta send you to hell. Look, I... And then, the guy with the receding hair drove a blue car, carefully signaling his turn and pulling into a suburban driveway. <laughs> 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 
Remember that kitten, Billy? That was nothing compared to this. No. At least the kitten went quick, Billy. We're gonna change the dog's name to Crispy. This one is dead. No! So, Billy, the little boy who looks just like you went through terrible, irredeemable grief. Does he have a sea turtle under his sweater vest? <laughs> See, here's his problem. He's going around dressed like that, asking women, have you seen my little monkey? In the fields of barley, in the fields of gold. So evil wins, Grandpa Borknine? That's right. Even your tiny soul is doomed, Billy. Yeah, I got a crack this guy can crawl out of. <laughs> wow. I'm stiff and dry, and I have a big lumpy butt. Sorry, Unitarian. According to you, I'm in the butterflies and the sun, and I'm just a vague, benevolent force. You're on your own. I have rigor mortis. No, Grandpa Borden, I leave light and hope for me, please. Get out from behind that cushion, Billy. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else Satan created. Japanimation. But Grandpa Borgnine, the tree fell right on him. I know, but I wrote myself into a corner. That's the monkey. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll be right down. Don't come. I'm not worth the trouble. Grandpa Borgnine, no, please, not another subplot. Oh, no, 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 no. It's my monkey. I looked hmm? everywhere. I just I can't find it. You lost the monkey. Check under your robe. Oh, come on, Grandpa Borgnine. No wonder you never sold this turkey. My goodness, you've grown big. Since I started that story. Oh, monkey, oh, the car coming, the flaming cat, oh, horrible, dog dying, mean psychics, oh, Grandpa. Yes, it's my mission to release evil and gradually recover it following the deaths of many innocent people. Remember to believe in magic, or I'll kill you.